Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature in Microsoft Forms. So up until now, if you wanted to get an alert from the response, only the owner could get a, a feedback. This is if the form was not part of a group, but was stored uh, in OneDrive. So let's see the experience. Um, I'll create a new form. And actually, I'll give a, a name. And actually, what I want to show you is the new feature that is coming out or rolling out. So I have a, a form and a question. And now I'll go to the three dots and go to the settings. If I scroll to the bottom, I can get email notification for each response. Now, up until now, there was no option uh, besides the owner to get other people to get uh, notifications. Now, by default, the owner gets the, the notification and I can add groups or emails. So let's just add Alex. And uh, you get uh, some uh, information here that people you select will be added as collaborators and existing collaborators collaborators will be removed. So it changes all of the uh, the collect response or collaboration uh, settings uh, uh, that is there. So we will see that. So you need to be careful because it, it will do that. Once you do OK, it will add the person. Let's put also Adele. And we need to approve each time. And we could also add a group, uh, let's say, uh, let's look for something, SharePoint. Or... So you could also add uh, any group that is there. So we have the A team and it added it. So uh, just if we go here to the collaborators, you see it added this, so it removed whoever was there before and now it added and it's set it to specific people. By default, it's usually anyone uh, that has an account or you can say only people in the organization. So it sets specific people. Now let's actually see how it works. So I will click here and actually I will copy the link Can make a shortcut. And I will go and actually uh, fill out the form and submit it. OK, submission has been done. Now I should expect from uh, the email of the owner to receive a mail. Uh, we should get it any minute. This is an example from one of the mails. Oops, here we see. So um, it says. You received one uh, response from uh, from the form. These are the people that uh, can will get notified. And if we click here, we will go to the response. Now let's go to the other user and see if he received it. Yes, Alex also has received a similar uh, notification. And if he clicks on it, he will be able to see the information and also um, actually uh, change the form as you see because he is one of the collaborators. Um, just a notice thing I noticed here that uh, it shows actually the active status. Um, what happens is if you decide that to accept, not to accept a response, it, it changes it to close. And what else can I tell you? Last thing is actually, you see this actually, uh, uh, the other collaborators see that they can download uh, a copy. Uh, but the owner actually, if you see this, he will be able to open the results in Excel. And this actually stores it in the OneDrive. So you can see that we do this and this is actually so instead of downloading, you can open it and see how the response are changes. You still can download if you click here and download a copy. 
and you can disconnect and sync a new uh, workbook. So uh, to summarize, the setting of accepting response uh, enables uh, additional people to get their feedback. Now, if the form is created as part of the group, that by, de by default, all of the people in the group uh, should uh, receive it. Uh, in this case, it was not created in a group, uh, but as you saw, we also added uh, a group that could receive that. So this is uh, when it rolls out to your tenant, uh, test it. I hope uh, your customers will like it and see you. And thank you for listening and goodbye.